This is the ExcelLearningZone.com free tip of the week. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how conditional formatting works in Excel. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting to show which invoices are more than 30 days late, 60 days late, or 90 days late, and change colors based on how late they are. Here I have a simple list of invoices, an invoice number, and a due date. Here you can see one for each month. In the next column over here, I'm going to put how many days late each one of those invoices is. So we'll call this days late. Now days late is going to be equal to today, which is a function that puts today's date there, minus whatever date the invoice was due on. So today, open close parentheses, minus B2. That's where the date is. Press enter. And I get a weird looking date like that. That's okay. We're just going to change the format of this value. Right click on it, come down to Format Cells, and just change it to a number. Then click OK. Now you can see that this invoice is 274 days late. I'll get rid of some of the extra decimal points there. And then I'll simply auto fill this down the column. Now you can see how many days late each one of these invoices is, and this number will change automatically based on today's date. So every time you open up this spreadsheet, that days late will be updated. Now we can use conditional formatting to format this column. Click on Format, and then Conditional Formatting. I'll say if the cell value is between, we have a bunch of different options here, I'll say between 30 and 60, and then we'll set a format. I'll click on the format button. Let's just change this format here to red. Then I'll click OK, and then I'll hit OK again. Now notice that all the invoices that are between 30 and 60 days late are red. We just have that one there. Here, I'll cheat and change the date on this one. Let's change this one to 9.15. Oh, look at that. It's current. How about we change it to uh, 8.28? That's 34 days late. It's red. We can add more conditional formats. I'll hide the column again. Format. Conditional formatting. Right? We'll add another one. So I'll click on Add down here on the bottom. That adds another row. If the cell value is between, let's say this time, 60 and 90, we'll add a format, color, let's go with blue. Okay, okay. Alright, none of them fit that, so let's cheat again here. I'll say 726, there's a blue one. Alright, 724, there's another blue one. Let's take care of everybody over 90 days. Format, conditional formatting, add a row. If the cell value is, let's change this to greater than 90, and we'll set a format. I'll go with green. And you can add different things like bold. There's bold. Okay. And there we go. They're all late. If you want to delete the conditional formatting for the header, just select only the header, Format Conditional Formatting, and just hit Delete. Select the condition to delete, 1, 2, and 3, hit OK, hit OK, and now you've deleted the conditional formatting just for that header row. And that is how you can use conditional formatting to format the different rows based on how many days late each invoice is. There are lots more free tips just like this one on my website at ExcelLearningZone.com. Just come to the website and look for the Tips and Tricks section. And for those of you watching on YouTube, you can come to my website and watch my full Excel 101 course. That's over an hour of video at ExcelLearningZone.com slash YouTube. You have to use that special link, ExcelLearningZone.com slash YouTube.